Today I'm going to be reading a story called Night Shift by Jesse Hartland. Late at night, when the owls are out and the raccoons are diving into trash cans, and you are finishing up the last bit of chocolate pudding, and then brushing your teeth, and wishing you didn't have to go to bed just yet, there are people out there awake doing all sorts of interesting things. They are on the night shift. What's that swishing sound outside? The street sweeper! At 10 o'clock in the evening, when the streets empty out, the street sweeper swishes along down the roads, leaning way out. The driver skillfully edges up against the curb. Brushes spinning, they twist and turn, swivel and twirl to get every bit. Candy wrappers, a lost mitten, acorns, leaves, paper cups, and other trash all get sucked up by the big sweeper. Who does the street sweeper stop to watch so late at night? Window dressers. The fancy store is closed and the doors are locked. The last shoppers are long gone. It's 11 o'clock. Here come the window dressers with their team of trusty mannequins and their feathers, felt, and fluff. They will revamp the windows to make shoppers grin and giggle. A kitty made of pickles, a topiary poodle, a mannequin dressed smartly with a wig of spinach noodles. Who keeps the window dressers whistling in the wee hours? The late night radio DJ. Disc jockeys are the voices that talk to us through the radio. They choose the songs and play them. They also report the news. A UFO has landed at the gas station and make very important announcements. Do you like cheese? There's a Gouda eating contest coming up on Thursday. They tell us the time and weather. It's 11.30 p.m. and 53 degrees. Is anyone out there listening? Who likes to request his favorite songs late at night? The security guard. At the closed and quiet modern art museum, the security guard is making the rounds. No visitors here at 1145. This job is about protecting the priceless artwork. Wait, there's a rustling sound. Turn down the radio. Check all doors and windows, monitor all surveillance systems, test alarm sensors and infrared detector function. No paintings are askew, no sculptures are wobbling. Look, it's just a mouse. Who calls the guard just before midnight to chat? The newspaper printer. Reporters write about the news all day. Printers print their stories all night. The huge printing press needs tweaking. Stop the presses, there's a jam. Reload the paper, ink the presses, feed the paper, adjust ink flow. Trim, assemble, fold, and bundle. It's 12.05 a.m. Darkness still lingers as the daily paper is delivered to your front door. Whose late night work outside the window distracts the printer? Bridge painters. On a cool, dry night, the bridge painters assemble to climb the massive suspension bridge. Step by step, they clip and reclip their safety belts. Nets are below to catch those who might fall. At the tower's top is an enormous nest. A hawk with three eggs are painted around. Some paint drips down, but the traffic is light. Not many cars out so late at night. Whose car gets splattered passing over the dripping bridge at 1 o'clock a.m.? The zookeeper. On her way to the zoo where animals are sleeping in darkness. But one hall is bright. Who sleeps in a bright light? Nocturnal animals. That's who. Every night at the zoo, in a bright space all their own, these animals are tricked into thinking it's day when they like to sleep. A bulb's just burned out and an owl monkey's stirring. Quick, change that bulb and send her back sleeping. 
So one day, when you visit the World of Night Hall, you'll see the active nocturnal animals not sleepy at all. Who's driving a shipment of ocelots bound for the zoo? The freighter captain. The freighter boat plods along, cruising the great ocean from South America, carrying huge containers filled with perishable freight of all kinds, bananas, cocoa pods, mangoes, sardines, coconuts, and ocelots. Boat captain at the wheel, gazing ahead, radar, navigational charts, GPS, and a compass keep her on course. The steward brings up a tuna sandwich and a cup of coffee at 2 a.m. That and some salty wind refresh the captain. Seagulls up ahead, land must be near. Who takes the ocelots from the ocean pier to the inland zoo? The truck driver. Under an inky black sky, the truck driver swiftly loads up perishable freight just arrived from South America. Coconuts going to Kansas, mangoes to Iowa, cocoa pods to California. Don't load the sardines next to the ocelots. Should make good time. The roads are empty at 2.30 a.m. Whose night shift slows down the truck in the middle of the night? The road worker. At 3 o'clock in the morning, road workers meet to mend a broken highway. Bumps, humps, lumps, potholes, bulges, and cracks need to be fixed. A backhoe breaks up the old road, a grater spreads out the new one, a roller rolls it smooth. Traffic is light, but still a bottleneck has formed, three lanes into one. What a mess. But better to fix it now than at rush hour. Who does, all the, ro who does the road worker visit for a snack at 3.30 a.m.? The donut baker. Delicious donuts. They're for you in the morn. How so fresh? They make them at night. Flour and milk mix sugar and yeast added. Dough is stirred. Donut shapes formed. Dropped into hot oil. They deep fry and drain on the side. Cream filled, sprinkly, tutti frutti cocoa, caramel mint or pistachio roco. Broccoli nut, healthy whole wheat. Which one will she sample on her 4 a.m. break? Who bought a big box of donuts for a nighttime voyage? The fisherman. Fisherman out on a cool, dark night on the lookout for fish. There's a school. Spread the net. Corral the fish. Gather the net. The winch hauls it up. A big catch. Plenty of fresh fish to sell at the morning fish market coasting through the darkness on the way to port. The last donut has been eaten. There's a lighthouse up ahead, and the fog is rolling in. Who comes to the rescue when the fishermen run aground at 5 a.m.? The tugboat captain. Sturdy tugboat low to the water helps big boats come in and out of port. The captain eases her up to the grounded fishing boat coming in at sunrise at a low, low tide. All engine, the tugboat gently nudges the fishing boat along off of the sandbar. Unlike the big, unwieldy trawler, the tugboat is easily maneuverable, sure and strong in any direction. Last job of the night, let's go for coffee. It's morning. Who serves coffee to the tugboat captain and all of his friends? The waitress at the all-night cafe, at the end of the night and at the start of the day. The night shift meets at the all-night cafe. The end.